you know, the concept that children should be seated in a chair at their desk for seven hours a day is crazy. I mean, you know, we almost don't even have any typically developing boys anymore. In an average classroom, you're going to have autism, you're going to have ADHD, you're, you're going to have um, a sensory processing disorder. You're going to have all these different things. And I say boys just because they tend to be more affected than girls. But obviously, girls will be in the bunch as well. But it's because <laughs> our recesses are being reduced. It's, we, we don't have the movement. You know, I, I was at a, a lecture yesterday. And I was 10 minutes in and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I need to get out of my seat. I just needed to move, right? Well, guess what? As a, as a grown adult, I could get out of my seat. I could go to the back of the lecture and just be able to rock back and forth standing and being able to hear. Guess what you can't do when you're a kid for the most part? You can't. You can't. Do you know they've proven great research on fidgeting, you know, fidgeting little things like this or tangles. If a child needs fidgeting, like if they have ADHD or autism or they just, they're a child that needs fidgeting. If you allow that child to fidget, it, what it actually does is free up the brain to be able to absorb the information that's coming in. Now, if you take that same child and you say, don't fidget because you're not listening, all the child can think of is the need to fidget <laughs> because it won't hear anything because its body is screaming, I need to move, right? So it's got nowhere to go. So conversely, if you take a child that doesn't need to fidget and you give them a fidget, what the, it does is distract them from what they're learning. It's really interesting. Does it make it a little bit difficult for teachers? Yes, but uh, you know, a skilled teacher is going to know when someone's just getting distracted with that toy or someone's going to be listening. But wouldn't it be great if we, if we as a society realize things in schools, like movement is important, that we have more movement breaks, and it's not like they're not doing it. They are, they're just not doing it enough yet. And it's not, I don't even think it's the individual teachers as much as the school systems in general need to create that. There needs to be more standing desks. There needs to be more, more breaks, more movement. Gosh, I just saw a great study on, instead of, um, instead of uh, detention, they did meditation. Like, what, what have we learned to breathe again, you know? Like, just some of those basic calming things. Like, what happens if we take three deep breaths in and connect again, right? Then where do we get in our body? So, this is, this is not high-tech stuff. <laughs> this is baseline, right? I mean, what, is, what does a kid need to be a kid and still be able to learn?